When I left my career as an engineer to become an artist, the first thing I did, because I didn't have a lot of money to really change courses, was to reverse engineer a lot of uh, the curriculum that you can find online for some of the best schools out there. For example, as you can see on your screen, Art Center, College of Design, FCD, uh, and you have a lot of other schools. Now, nowadays, you have New Edge uh, in Paris. Uh, you have Brainstorm School uh, and a lot of online options. Uh, you have uh, brick and mortar as well, CDA, Concept Design Academy. They don't have a very strict curriculum, but they have open courses that are a great option uh, for you uh, to really have the the course experience uh, without having to pay uh, the overall structure and uh, tuition that one of these big schools uh, will will need. Uh, so today I want to talk about uh, the structure and the curriculum a bit, especially looking at our current AI art landscape and what I, I do feel will be really important going forward. Uh, in terms of your art education and how to make a difference uh, in this very competitive uh, field and that's gonna get uh, way more competitive. So let's jump right in. Uh, I really want to discuss first fundamentals. If we look here at term one we can see perspective, we can see human anatomy, we can see this visual structure that I, I pulled from uh, the course uh, the course descriptions. I'll have a link in the description as well if you want to jump there and, and, and have a look yourself. Uh, it's not that easy to find all of them. I would love to see a little bit of a syllabus uh, for all those course courses and structure uh, as well as a bit of the the materials that they use and source books and, and all of that. I did a video about books, 50 books uh, to really uh, grow as an artist and a lot of that I took out from Art Center. Uh, if we look here, we have How to Draw by Scott Robertson uh, and also Frame Perspective 1, 2, and Drawing Techniques. Uh, in, uh, they, they were all published uh, under Design Studio Press uh, that is from Scott Robertson that was the head, uh, the chair of the Entertainment Design course at, at Art Center. So a lot of this content, how to render, uh, Mechanica, H-Point, I, I do believe Mechanica is published through them, but all, a lot of those books come from their uh, publishing structure. So they really understand the curriculum and they are putting out great content and great um, source material so that we can learn. Uh, there are also other uh, tutorials. I did uh, a video on foundation group, foundation patron, a drawing for concept art. Uh, so there are l lots of way to learn uh, this stuff, uh, but definitely having an understanding of what they're doing would be really interesting. Going back to term one, so we're talking about fundamentals. The fundamentals is something that always comes to mind to most up-and-comers and students trying to really evolve uh, and sometimes they don't go past this stage. Uh, this is where I, I really want to focus our attention here today. This is just term one from an eight-term structure. So have that in mind. Uh, a term two will have a little bit of fundamental as well. So uh, dynamic character drawing, digital painting, uh, as well as advanced perspective. But lighting fundamentals, for example, we can see here that it's more about storytelling and using light than really understanding the like casting shadows and and fall off and and terminator uh, uh, core shadow cast shadow and all of that. Uh, it's more about understanding how to convey emotions with lighting. We saw a lot of that in my video about color and light by James Gurney. Also a, a great resource to learn uh, both the fundamentals of rendering and lighting as we 
saw here, uh, as well as the lighting fundamentals from a storytelling standpoint. Uh, concept design uh, looks on, on the process of breaking down design and the basics of the design process. Uh, so it's really interesting that they start thinking about functionality at this early stage in their development. They will have a lot of uh, fundamentals uh, here. Uh, so the art of research, also another big one, but more on a conceptual level. Already looking at what they're gonna be doing after graduation, their day-to-day -day work. And I think that's the big difference looking at AI art. AI art can do a lot of this a lot of the fundamentals. If we look at FCD, another great school, uh, we'll see that term one, it's about fundamentals. And that's it. They have like a, a, a one year structure. So term one would be one third from, from that year. So basically that's the time you will spend very focused time, but a year or six months really sharpening your skills, understanding perspective, uh, human anatomy and all of that. And then you can start using that. What do you want to do with that? So uh, gathering visual library and expanding your visual library as we can see here uh, at FZD, but we can also see here at our center, the history of fashion, architecture design, costume design, character design. So it starts understanding process, expanding visual library, and expanding your range of solutions, both visual as well as conceptual solutions for the problems that you will encounter throughout your career. So concept design too, another course description here. Uh, you can take your time and read that uh, on your own leisure, uh, but it's basically process, understanding how to use all those tools to really solve visual process, uh, visual problems and world building problems that are going to be your day to day job. So term four goes into how things work, animal anatomy, uh, world building, vehicles and props. Uh, so we talked about H point, functionality and all of that and how to convey believ believability. Uh, it's going to be big designing with color and light. So you have other resources online. Uh, I talked about brainstorm school. Schoolism is a very big one. We saw in, in, in the books. Uh, we also saw the books from um, from Nathan Falk. So you have uh, here portrait sketching, but you also have uh, other books on on painting uh, and 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 uh, here uh, the plain air painting uh, book and all of that. You have a lot of resources where you can start learning this stuff. Deep design, it's hard to find. So you have Mechanica book. You have a lot of tutorials out there. So you have you will have to pick here and there to really find uh, the best materials. And then I really highly encourage taking a course at some point. It could be either like Brainstorm, as I said, now you have other schools online, you have CGMA, uh, you have uh, Schoolism uh, and so on. Uh, or even like uh, mentorships with amazing artists that you have out there. So there are lots of ways to hack your way through this. You don't need to go to this uh, very expensive schools. You can, uh, uh, if you do have the money, uh, you will take something out of it. Having the group uh, as well as presenting your work, being there, uh, either at Brainstorm, for example, they have the the, the, the physical school, uh, but also going to one of these big uh, structures will have its value uh, and will bring a lot of value. Is it worth it? I don't know. And I haven't been there, so I, I really can't say. But I've heard a lot of people take a lot of uh, value from going there. One thing I'll link here in the description as well, a video by Scott Robertson talking about developing your eye for quality. Uh, so that's uh, an interesting thought on, on the difference of going to a big school uh, or even at least 
immersing yourself in a group that is really studying, growing, and having the teachers and, and, and all of that to around you to really help you. So without like uh, taking too long, uh, term five, light and color, more on, on that storytelling sense once again. So production design and understanding day to day entertainment design and so on and so forth or originality so it's really taking everything that you learned in your fundamentals expanded in your visual library and using that to really develop your portfolio from a functionality standpoint not from only a beautiful pictures in your portfolio but what kind of problems that portfolio is trying to solve. I've been a recruiter in the entertainment industry, uh, art recruiter for some time now, and, and the biggest thing I look for in a portfolio is that, what type of problems are you trying to solve? Uh, and looking at the AI art situation, once all the problems with copyright are solved, if they are uh, at any point, AI art can only solve the fundamentals part it can't solve what you want to do with that uh, what do you want to create either through prompting either through uh, getting a lot of images and, and putting those together and trying to uh, innovate and have new shapes and all of that you are in command and trying to make that happen so be curious about the world be curious about what you want to do be intentional uh, and, and think of functionality what story are you trying to tell what characters are you trying to build and and, and convey what world are you trying to build this is the big questions that you should be asking yourself more than like how to draw an arm uh, the arm will come with time or if you really focus it can come with a year a year and a half of a lot of work uh, you will understand fundamentals what you do after that it's called art career entertainment career concept design career uh, you will take a long time to really sharpen your aesthetic view your design view that's the hardest that's what uh, ai art can't do and and what it will potentially grow worse because a lot of people the general public that don't have that aesthetic eye trained will use that and, and, and take the, the tool in another direction. So, so I really wanted to convey that. I'll just go really quickly uh, through uh, the illustration uh, curriculum at Art Center as well. So you can see it's almost the same. So perspective, heads and hands, composition, basics, design, FISCOM, uh, as well as a little bit of dynamic sketching uh, here for illustration uh, and, and basically starting to tell a story um, after that. So digital painting, design again, um, structure and color and all of that. A little bit of 3D, analytical figure, figure drawing. So the first three terms, it's about tools. And then you really start telling your story. So sketching for illustration, entertainment, image and idea, uh, inventive drawing or uh, inventive costume, uh, a lot of character design, backgrounds, matte painting, uh, and a lot of those skills. It, it's gonna be about uh, storyboarding and, and telling the story or conveying a very beautiful picture uh, in terms of backgrounds and all of that. So storyboard for animation, history of art or illustration, and so on and so forth. You're gathering a lot of things way beyond uh, the fundamentals so understanding the art history how to bring that how to connect everything that you have how to connect all that you've learned uh your visual library and all of that to get to a great result in the end and have a portfolio that is usable by the industry and and can convey what you've learned uh, and finally, last but not least, the same we can see at New Edge, another big uh, school out there. So designing the first year, they have two-year curriculum, designing with purpose and strengthening fundamentals and tools. Uh, that's year one. So you start uh, really uh, sharpening your skills, uh, but you already are looking at design and really understanding what you need to do. Then you will 
deep dive into your specific field uh, and start looking at real world projects um, more specialized courses and build your own world for the graduation project and final portfolio so it's basically the same structure i would love to see more of their curriculum in detail but it's basically how it goes all around you learn a little bit of 3d and tools because that's the big thing uh, right now especially in, on concept you have more control you can change stuff really quickly and all of that so it will go a long way in helping into the process for working in the industry so if you're thinking that side as well uh, going in that direction uh, do have that in mind uh, other than what i've said uh, on the books uh, as well as the tutorials uh, there will be a lot of other tools that you have to really get to know uh, before you are ready for your career. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your comments uh, Hear What you think is really important. If you are an artist in the industry, uh, please chime in the conversation. It will be uh, great. If you are afraid of AI art or concerned in any shape or form, also let's have a conversation in, in the comments uh, and really understand how to, to strengthen ourselves, to be more curious uh, and really focus on, on what's next. I had a video, uh, I did a video on uh, focusing specifically on anatomy and figure drawing and what I would do differently from my mistakes in the past. So if you enjoyed the vi this video, you probably will enjoy this other one. Uh, and I definitely hope to see you again in another video. Have a great one.